Hey y'all, what's up? This is Liz with a little bit of reality. And this is an absolute crazy story out of Harrisburg, Pennsylvania. This young man, his name was Justin Johnson. He was only 16 years old and he passed away Friday, April the 26th. Now the situation surrounding what happened with him is completely nuts, right? So there is a ring camera footage from his home that show a kid coming up to the porch I guess to get him a Caucasian little boy, right? When he comes out or when they get him out of the house, there apparently were three Caucasian teenagers that were out there. Once he got all the way out, they started to chase him and he ran around the home. I'm not sure if it was his home or someone else's home, but another camera and audio picked up when he ran through like the bushes next to the home. And in the audio, you can hear one of the Caucasian kids say to Justin, run back to Africa. And this is why they're saying this was a racially motivated incident. Okay, so this is a timeline that has been put together by investigators. I want you to see how quick this particular incident went from something normal to something very tragic, okay? This timeline starts at 821. So it's basically saying Justin texted his dad, said he was going with some friends to play tag. I feel like those kids befriended him because three juveniles came to his house. Only one initially came to the door to get Justin out. And that's why you see at 828, it shows video of Justin exiting the house, going back inside and then emerging a moment later. But then also at 828, Justin is seen running past the house and runs through the yard and down over an embankment. But then 829, it shows another juvenile male bringing his phone to the front, the front porch and placing the phone on the chair. So just that quick, Justin has run off and someone has placed, put the phone on the chair. Like it's just too much going on. But in this timeline, the police left out one particular thing. And that's because they didn't know what was recorded on the video when the kids was chasing Justin. Now I want you guys to see how fast this turned tragic. Justin's dad did not come home until 954, but by 1153, Justin was pronounced um, dead due to a cardiac arrest. Now we're talking about a 16 year old child and it went from three males coming to his house, three Caucasian males coming to his house, them supposedly playing tag, them chasing him, he returns home, he passes out in his home, and then he passes away. Now, this is where it's starting to get a little crazy because in those videos, and you guys are able to see these videos online, if you just go ahead and type Justin Johnson in the internet, even on TikTok or any social media um, channel, if you do his name search, you'll see the recording. And in one of those recordings, one of the guys, one of the young men who is chasing Justin actually tells him in the video to run back to Africa. Now you can see that the school has released a statement, right? And in this second paragraph from his school, it states, we understand that the circumstances around Justin's death have not been determined. However, there are social media reports that indicated that Justin was subjected to racial insensitivity from classmates. So he has been or had been racially harassed by students at that school. I heard that he just came here not too long ago from Jamaica. So there's no telling what these kids were doing to him and saying to him. And I feel like them chasing him and them coming at him that way I feel personally caused this baby to have a go into cardiac arrest, 16 years old, cardiac arrest. And then they also state, please understand that this type of behavior is not consistent with our core values. I mean, that's the same thing that's said across the board, no matter what job it is, no matter what school it is, they kind of always give that blanket statement. And now the police are getting more involved because the videos of the incident have been put on social media. See, in the first quarter, the police was like, oh, it's nothing, it's nothing. You know, there's no indication of foul play. There's no indication of this, this, that, and the third. But now they're learning that this kid has been targeted. He has been racially profiled. And he has been dealing with some insensitive stuff at the school 
that he was attending. This case is so sad. And you would think that when things happen like this, or why do things happen like this? Because we're supposed to be moving forward. But a lot of these kids learn this stupidity from their parents. I'm just going to leave it at that. But what do you guys think about this? Leave me a comment. Let's talk about it. And don't forget to hit the follow button and make sure you reshare because I always make sure I bring you guys the real tea. Toodles.